the extra seven minutes. Yeah. Well, if you keep it, maybe that's what the invoice said. I, I said it's not really a big deal. 
the Commission 101 they talked about. The need for some longer term. Yeah. Well, yeah, there's certain things that we know that you've got to be planning. You need to plan for the long term. Maybe to me, one of the solutions is to even have just a general capital out in the middle of the end. I mean, that's, you know, whether it's a half or a mil or whatever, and that's what you, you know, that's kind of general. That's going to catch some of your surprises, but not to say that each department can't have a little capital out in there and help, and then you can all can share the funds. But I don't know exactly what the answer is. I mean, we're just waiting to see what, we're waiting to see what the legislature is going to do. Let me try to get one more. There's two other quick topics. There's two other quick topics. One is, is there any more that we can put on the internet in terms of the names of phone calls and traffic in the courthouse, which also would relate to staffing. The other, should departments start getting together, because you know in my situation with employees, you've got one in Pauline's office, and you're going to have one in Western D's. And I don't know if there's anything there that could be coordinated together. But that's just a thought. There's so many possible changes. Maybe we need to look at different qualifications or what types of staffing for a position. Just a thought. Any, like, specific, like, as far as, like, qualifications? No. Well, background in certain areas, maybe, or... Yeah, I see what you're saying. Higher education in the Microsoft fields or something. I just thought, I mean, now's the time with all this. Might not be a bad idea to start thinking about it. Absolutely. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, Jim. Thank you. Yeah, just having higher levels of compliance. Well, and if you kind of know what the needs are, that more qualified person might be more adapted to do a lot more things. I mean, their skills, some of their skills are better grounded. I mean, because if you're going to pay them, we hope so. I like that idea. If he's got leadership, he might have more leadership. Yep. Yeah, that's true. Well, I mean, how hard would it be to, I just wrote figures down, but I just wanted to get a tracking of what we spent out. You know, we've done a lot of things out of the hand with the operating budget. How hard would that be? I know you probably haven't had some of them posted yet, but how hard would that be? I don't even know that today. And you just want a detail? Yeah, just a detail. Just to kind of see for sure. Just putting the account number in it. Because what Pat brought up was that the account number is not in the account. It's 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 not in the account. I mean, if we get to run a little close on the operating budget, I don't know exactly how much of it. We don't have any utilities figured in here, but if we need to pay for the upgrade on the drain bill or possibly something else, we need to add it to the lease purchase. You know, just so we don't come up short on that. I haven't really got a direct answer from Chad on exactly what are some of the other expenses that we may have. I think they've got pretty much everything incurred, but I know even when Miami was in, there was a lot of things under there that we were responsible for that could come back and invite us. So we're down about this without utilities. Yeah, but I don't know whether there's other incidental things. I mean, I don't have those. I was thinking about this last night. We didn't figure that we paid for those hardware, whatever they call it, those computers. And that's not figured in there yet. That was like $12,000. That's what we started with. That's about what the grant bill is. This is the equipment that we just paid the hospital. This is what the $1,400 month rent is. This is what the upgrade is. Oh, so you already got a rent calculated in there. I got that, but I don't have, you know, we don't know what utilities at both facilities. We're going to be paying utilities at both facilities. Well, right now, we only have a budget balance of $9,000. That's less. Yeah, because not all the budget is. Because we pay party construction. We pay the department for the 
two boxes. Um, I guess that would be the ambulance equipment. Yes, which we, uh, it's a lease you purchase. You could work for 72000 and we, so if you take it out of that, then you have to lease purchase. That's correct, yeah. So you're down to $9,000 budget period. Of the total budget. Of the 750000 That's the cash balance. Cash, yeah. Oh, that's just yeah. the budget amount. Because we haven't gotten the whole budget amount in there. The whole dollar amount for the entire budget is not in there. Because we only have one collection of taxes. Well, I'm just looking at the budget. I'm just looking at the budget. what we budgeted.
tomorrow afternoon I will email the ones that are city utilities because Gina Fitzpatrick, the uh, clerk down there, has said, you know, just wait, give me one big so she can do it all at one time and say yes, yes, no, 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 instead of giving like weekly updates. So once we get that, that's probably 10 or 12 more and then the rest. Make your visits to actually go to the property, or if you know, Orion doesn't say or tell us anything about the property, then it's just really But that's, um, that's the updated list. What a surprising number. There's so many of the first thing that come No, we, the projection was 10%. Mm -hmm. And we're way above that. Because mm -hmm. we, we, we calculated, didn't we calculate 5,500 to 6,000 residents, something like that? Yep. So you, you know, you, you expect to be. Let's see, we had 200, or was it 198? I think I have a handful more, so let's say 220 is the final number. Uh, we, uh, Don't be surprised if something's taken home. Right, and then that's because there may be houses that are on the market for sale that maybe they're going to move out and they knew that there wasn't going to be a lot before they qualified for this. Right. But the. Uh, these, these I, I take it, these are the ones that pretty clearly, I know a guy's friend that didn't just go there. He bought the houses of nobody else, and he has been sitting and making for five years. I mean, he had to Yes. <laughs> and, and the guy in Effingham was Frederick, I mean, he mm -hmm. bought out, and they just used it for storage. I mean, So they are legitimately going to probably be vacant, but technically, if the houses haven't gone, they're not really, they really shouldn't qualify for this rebate until, yeah. and, until they prove that that thing has to be used for a year. Mm -hmm. Or if we can prove that uh, any kind of shed, any kind of storage is not a waste generator or is a waste generator, definitively. Because um, if that's the new test, then we take some properties off, we add some properties on, it's hit the moving target with your definition. So, no, I, yeah, it's, yeah, that, yeah, it's, that's our it's different. So, to me, yeah. it's a shop that somebody's yeah. working on it with, with a business, side business, no, it's it's probably it's probably it's what it's There are some that um, say that you were given a 244 initial assessment and it was reduced to 122. There are a handful of them that are wanting uh, it just reduced to the, the lowest $61. Um, and most of those are because of burn barrel. Um, they, they just want to pay the, the base rate because they have burn barrel, barrels at their shop. Jimmy uh, uh, Smith. Donald Kilkenny, um, a couple of those businesses in that area, they all have uh, 
corn barrels. So they were just that. I mean, they don't mind paying the fifty one dollars. I mean, as much as it, it's palatable, but that's what a number of those businesses. Uh, Bring all those people just to light it that they were paying. <laughs> just for lighting. Um, so those are um, the the remaining ones, but for the most part, that, that reducing it in half is what really helped our case. I mean, they're not happy about it, but there were a number of businesses like, okay, we'll pay this and then we'll work out in the next six months um, what we can do as far as changing how we do handle our trash. So, um, sure. What's going on, gentlemen? Next full day. That it is. Give us a small business. Well, it would be, but I think everybody still has some. It was those winners. I'm afraid so. That would be good for straw sales. It's been very good for straw sales for people that are supplying it. <laughs> Boy, it makes me feel like you're talking about me. Everybody shut up. I was kind of finishing up on the. <laughs> he rigged the first 127 PS. PS. Oh. Can I have a four for just a minute? Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, no, just sit down. You're fine. <laughs> this, isn't, this isn't about appeals. Mine's coming later. Uh, been, I've been asked by a few individuals, what are we doing about redistricting? When's that schedule to get started? Good question. Uh, I actually had that on my mind because I threw a win today. Well, it's been on my mind about three times I've been up here to go to a commission meeting, but I never know when you guys are meeting anymore. So, uh, first it was 9.15, and then it was 3 o'clock, and then it was Monday. But anyway, I'm sure that you're going to get that solidified someday. But with that all said, that's another deal. Uh, it's we're. It's been approximately, and I might be wrong, 30 years since we redistricted. Uh, had any redistricting done. Uh, some of the, being the head of the Republican Party, it, it hadn't really been brought to my attention, but it's been talked about, and you know, people have mentioned it here or there. But there's an imbalance right now where uh, approximately 45% of the eligible electorate Jeff Sheely has in his his district, which makes it a little difficult. Well, it's just not good representation. I mean, it just kind of shorts. It, it, it is a good representation for the county residents. And it puts a little too much pressure on Jeff, and it doesn't give the rest of you uh, that opportunity. So uh, I was just wondering. If this can be put in put in place to be kind of put into motion in in 2013, I think I think yeah, I think we will. I mean, I think we're kind of supposed to have something. I mean, we've had the we census. Have looked, yeah. yeah, we've had the census. Uh, everything based off the of 2010. Here we are. We've had a lot of things happen in the last two years. I mean, you you came in. Uh, we finished up the session. Uh, we have uh, Henry coming in, so uh, I think it'd be a good time uh, to take a look at that situation. Uh, just baby steps. Just go from there. Do you have any, so, any suggestions, like as far as? Because I know how the I won't use the Kansas legislator as a example, but they had a very interesting way of how they well, redistrict. I, I yeah. think any way that you can, uh, math's pretty easy, you know, 33, 33, 33.3, I mean, that, I think uh, equal representation, I mean, you know, most of our uh, population mass is, is on the eastern side of the county. Uh, most of the land mass is in the second district, uh, which I always equate uh, Atchison County 
to the state of Kansas. Geographically, we're sized about alike. A major part of, of the state of Kansas is located in the eastern part of the, of the state. Wyandotte County District, uh, the big one, or not the big one, but was it three? It's just about Wyandotte and Johnson County, and that's it. Uh, be real similar to your district, uh, Jeff. And then, but you know, they have four, we have four representations with the state of Kansas where we only have three here. Uh, I don't want to open up a whole can. Here. I mean, there's there's probably a lot of different ways that you could do it. Uh, just the balance of representation with three representatives that we have right now, that's not a bad idea. Just balance it out. Uh, it needs to be done on a regular basis, you know, shortly two to three years after every census. But, uh, you know, do we, somebody mentioned something about five. Five commissioners. Well, uh, let's let's just balance it first. But uh, I don't want to get into that. I think the balancing part would. Uh, I think whatever the census amount and how we do that would would uh, again baby steps. Let's let's fix what we got first. I would think uh, geographically uh, uh, try to make it as. I don't, I don't ever like using the word fair, but balance. Before you come in, we be trying to define fair. Well, I can define fair for you. Yeah. <laughs> and I think, yes, I have fair. Fair is where we sell pigs in August. <laughs> that is the total definition of fair. Please don't record that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God Mary ain't here. <laughs> that is fair. But that is fair. You know, what, what may be balanced to one person may not be balanced to another. And uh, uh, <laughs> I, don't, I, don't believe in, I don't believe using the word fair is uh, the right way to say, uh, that's, that's a little too uh, uh, federal government for me right now. <laughs> you don't want to align yourself too close to the federal government, do you? What about where you sell pigs in August? What about a? Uh, I'm just curious. What about like a, a small at large committee to do it? Because I'm I'm just afraid. You know the way the legislators split up. If you have three commissioners just split up, I mean, I don't think you're gonna make everybody happy. I'm just thinking trying to remove that you know, that controversy out of the mix right away and just having a... a well, if, if I was, if, if uh, wishes were fishes and we were all in the sea, uh, you know, why don't we just, uh, I got a line for everything. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if we were going to do something like that, let's just put together our elected uh, precinct chairman, uh, both the Democrat and Republican Party. We'll all get together and, and see what kind of ideas are there. We already got a committee that one. That would be balanced. You're, you talk the whole committee? Well, that's what they're elected. If they're not elected, they're appointed by the uh, chairman of their respective parties. And uh, they've all been elected by their their, their uh, precincts. Yeah, by the voters. Yeah. The ones that want to show up and do anything with it, they'll do it. The ones that don't, won't. Um, I think we, uh, I think Sid Jones is the Democrat county representative. And uh, I think she would, uh, I don't know what the procedure is. I'm pretty ignorant to that. But, uh, uh, I think we'd be better off doing something like that than, than the three guys. Uh, well, see, the thing is, that leaves you three guys out. Well, and then we can come. Yeah, we have to fight with that fight. Oh, of course, of course. Yeah. course but the commissioners be there at first. And that has Roger doing math with us. Okay. Well, there, you're going to have a lot of information. You can bring the information together. And, uh, 
uh, possibly do something like that. Uh, and that's just an idea. And that way it doesn't like anyone's hand picking anybody. Mm -hmm. It's been picked by the public. Yeah. Yeah, it wouldn't be any different than any advisory rule that we did. It's advisory. strictly advisory, isn't it? Yeah. It's not like the Kansas legislature. Oh, that was a mess. Yeah, that, that's not that we don't get to that extent, but I don't want to don't want to avoid that type of. I I you know sadly, with uh, they dissected Shawnee County. I mean, just just crunched it terribly bad in Lawrence, because that was the dividing line between uh, uh, two and three and one. I mean, it's just it was bad. But luckily, I think Riley County got thrown somewhat in the mix too, didn't they? I think uh, so it was balanced. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but if you ask Riley County, it wasn't fair. <laughs> or if you ask Lynn Jenkins, it certainly wasn't fair. But, uh, but I think they have it, it was broke down to just about to person. I mean, everybody's pretty well represented. Uh, it seems like to me the number was like 310,915 divided by four. I mean, it was they come right down to street addresses. I mean, I thought they did a pretty good job. They had a lot of scenarios. I'm glad that that uh, didn't go through. So there was some uh, what they call meandering attempts that didn't work. But that's uh, all I'm throwing out there. Uh, I'd uh, like to see the three of you put something together, together, and kind of get the ball rolling so we can kind of get it done. I know you got a lot of a lot on the plate, but uh, something that you can get rolling. Shoot. No, because you got existing bands, it's just a matter of Oh, I don't think it's too bad. No, I don't think it'd be a shit. Chase has got all kinds of time. He could probably. Uh, <laughs> He could probably uh, facilitate this thing. I think he'd do a great job. Yeah, I know initially like, when they first came out with all the, the census data, it was pretty jumbled to say the least. It wasn't as organized as they did in 2000. I know a lot of counties struggled with. They took a while to get <coughs> Some cities that were large and others got it first. They kind of did a, a oh, priority ABC list that, that had the data. There were some Atchison representatives that were there. Are you talking about state level? Yeah. yeah. We had some good representation from Atchison down there. Kind of, uh, try to keep it balanced. <laughs> so, uh, there was a lot of things going on behind the scenes. A lot. A lot. So, anyway. Yeah, we'll speak with Pat and see. I don't see what would be a problem with just as a yeah, First, I mean, it's serious as I'm away. Talk about and that was right. thing because we didn't have a lot of agenda for today, but that is something. I was told that in some of the counties already redistrict, but they couldn't implement it before last year's, you know, but it could be implemented in this year. I think it would be something that could be done and it'll be ready to go in 2014. You'll be the only one coming up in the end, so mm -hmm. that it, it'll go in, in place then. So. Yeah, I don't know. think it, it won't be in place for the spring elections. No, no. Well, yeah. really, really doesn't matter until. No. No. It won't matter. Yeah. It won't matter. There's nothing that really doesn't matter. Yeah. And, and really, I just I. You, your three are the only ones. These these offices here are the only ones that are really fast. Yeah, we have another election official. Yeah, she's got a See, everybody else is county wide. Yeah. You guys are the only three district with representatives. That's true. Yeah. I mean, uh, you know, you, you, it's, it's not. State doesn't matter. State doesn't like care because they, they meander all the way around, too. I mean, mm -hmm. Mary Mott, uh, Melanie Myers used to have something come up here in the 
Yeah, yeah. They, they make that into two precincts. Yeah. You don't need two more precincts. Maybe people out there. Oh, it is? Yep. I'll, I'll, I'll have that information here in a couple weeks. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just want to let you know they, they split it so it's two prisons. Yeah. Oh, it, how are you identifying it? Benton 1 and Benton 2? Or 62 and 63, aren't you? Benton 62 and 63. So I, can I think it showed up on the maps on the Well, on your list, would you identify it? Can we identify who lives where as far as 62 or 63? Yeah, it should. I think it should. Yeah. Okay. I appreciate it. Should. All right. All right. Yeah, but I will. I, I know you will. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. That's all I have. Thanks Thank for coming you. out. Thank you. You back? Oh, what's 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 our usual meeting time? I think. Well, January is looking two o'clock. Two o'clock. January we're going to yeah, and there's a, there's a chance we discussed it. We may even try in March one time to have an all day, have a planning meeting in the morning, and we an actual action in the afternoon. There's some counties that have gone to that. That way you got time to get your data all collected. And, I mean, you can have hearings and stuff like that, but you don't take any action until after that. Are we looking at possibly getting more involved in economic development? And Which and you know, you know, do you want government doing? That kind of film, or do you want it as a, as a solo engine? I, I'm, not, I'm just asking, like, you know, obviously the funding. Well, Ashton County, County, Ashton County commissioners aren't, aren't involved with it as far as any funding at this time. Um, well, that's a, that's a general category. It's really. The, the only thing that's going into. It's not even really economic development, to be honest with you. It's it's like that. Yeah, that's a general. We pay for all of their smoking. I wouldn't consider. Uh, we pay for smoking for the Kansas City Regional. Yeah, those are bigger. He's talking about more like at the local level. Really, other than uh, chambers, not even. You're right because there isn't there isn't anything else really in place. And once it was dissolved on that board, the really technically. We gotta wait and see if we survive this legislation. <laughs> yeah. I'm serious. If, if they do what they say they'll do, we could lose 12, 12 and a half percent of our value. Uh, the only thing they're gonna do is up farmland 19% taxes so they can make up for everybody not paying any income tax. But well, that's, that, that's the formula. I mean, you can't argue that. You gotta come up with income some point. Big way and or make sales tax and do away with income tax. I'd said something to at the chamber dinner to Don and I would like to get some of his thoughts on economic development. I think we should be doing something. We I think he's the right person to talk to if he's going to Well, I mean Don and I and a number of others, I mean it goes all the way back to well, I gotta watch my mouth here. Uh Don's a good one to start with, but he's out too. I mean, I'm, I'm out. I mean, all of us are out. Nice. There is no economic development group in the county of Atchison yeah. as was representative for a number of years. Uh, Stephanie Leaf is uh, the city development director, but doesn't really have an advisory group uh, as we had in the uh, 1990s and early part all the way up to 2005 that was associated with the Chamber of Commerce. And then uh, after that there was this quasi thing that happened for a few years and then that disbanded. <laughs> I'm just wondering what we're doing for economic development. As a business owner, I'm just wondering. Uh, yeah, I've always been somewhat skeptical of governments doing the actual economic development personally. I always kind of like the idea of the well, fund. Yeah, I think like a group or an I, I, I agree with you, okay. but sadly, there's no funding by anyone else. So it, it has to have some type of uh, funding mechanism to, uh, uh, to, to do the work. There has to be a a paid employee somewhere sure. to do the work. Uh, the, the, the
volunteer base isn't as accountable as the person we're paying. Yes. And uh, sadly, uh, that comes from from uh, from the government taxing uh, tax levying uh, departments. Anyway, just you, you mentioned planning in March. Let's see something like that for them. Good idea. Thank you guys. Thank you. Hey, Pauline. Mm -hmm. Thank you. 
they get built. So I'm wondering if that's the, there's a little shop right next to it. Can you remove that? Yeah. Because it's fake. This, I assume, supplies the business right there. So it's next to the bank. So that, I'm, I'm assuming that's an office. It's an office. So we can confuse them because that's what it was. That's what it was used to. And that's what it was paid. So. Well, it's depending on what, what he had had a documentation. If I remember reading it right, because he sent it to me, not knowing what he sent it to, but I just wanted to know you. And the comment was that what documentation he has is he holds a 30 ounce barrel once a week. Right. And that's not real documents. No. There's four fifteen things. But it's four fifteen and four seventeen. Yeah, there's one down there on the uh, east side of the stake and I did that. Before him and I was from the same building. Same building. I'm wondering if maybe he's got some storage in the back. I don't know what maybe that's considered, yeah. So it's the same it'd be the same building. Four 
page is that leaves office space. I don't think you've got an appeal on that. So, 405. Now, why is that? 405 Main Street? 415 Main Street. There's two of them. I think that 
This is what I don't know about. This has to be his business. I'm wondering if it's his business and then that building right next to it. What's, what's, what's the address of the bank? That may tell us. Let's see, the Orion. The Exchange National.
that was going to really over here. That's what okay. I got. It could, I wonder if that single could be used to own the bar. Because there's Project Concern right there. That's the building. And that's probably 411 or 413 or something. 411. Okay. Post office 409 would be buzzes now. Welcome. Post office is 407. Yep. It's it's buzz. It's, it's 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 the bar restaurant there, and I'm saying that that single bank so want to own it before. If he, you know, it may not be transferred. It may not be in Montre Fox name. And so he said four or five is one of the vacant vacant office. No, four fifteen is vacant office. Is four or five is extension office, and then four seventeen is the Stranger Creek Indian Trust Company. Yeah. So I will go to four fifteen tomorrow. Either go and give them a knock and say, is that just like sealed off? Can I see it? If, and then you split those two. Yeah, I, I can do that. It's vacant. Okay. So then I'll go through and split those two. Yeah, okay. I don't think there's ever been anywhere. He keeps uh, old computers stuff and that. I mean, I've been in there for a while. Well, then I'll take it down. If that's the case, then I can just go ahead and split it right there and then reprint it. Well, the question is, now, you know, are we going to put it in the vacant office? Are we going to reduce them both to single office? Yeah, I'm going to remove that.
the top 12 contribute more than half of it. So if you meet with the Brad King, the MVP, Bush Biden, you get them straightened out to 15%. And then like Orchlands, they're probably 80% cardboard. You divert that out. Uh, the hardware store, wow. Um, the uh, restaurants have also said that if you do these things within a matter of months, you permanently divert out that amount. And with those, with just those two examples, that's an estimated low-ball cost savings of 40 grand, uh, permanently diverted out. And then that doesn't even include what USD 409 does, what Bennington College does, because they have 18 dumpsters on their campus. They can use them. Doesn't include the city of Atchison's cost savings because, you know, we we continue to have this debate, and I think you know maybe within the next week we can finally put this. We're not going to save money recycling to bed, um, whether it's re-explaining it or something. But crunching the numbers, um, without the rebate, no, it is more expensive. It gross. This is, like, worst case scenario, this is what we're going to pay. But if we have our rebate from the recyclables, even at current market prices, we're still going to pay paying 20 grand less. And that's assuming we get the 35% recycling curbside. And that's I mean, that's a bit ambitious, because that's, that's the state average, and that would be us trying to get to that in a matter of months. It's, so the more trash that we process in the first year for, for 2013, the less it's going to cost us, because we renegotiated the price. So there is savings, it's just we, we have to come to consensus on, because we approved it, we have a new contract, we just need to all be on the same page and whistling the same tune when it comes to recycling. Yeah. What are we doing with our own facilities? I know they're really, we talk a lot about it, but we've got a lot of different facilities. Have we ever, do we do like, ever do like mass bid? I mean, we've got so many facilities with dumpsters and stuff. Have we ever like really gone out and bid that out? Oh, I'm just thinking like, like all properties? I'm talking about county properties because we, get, we do have places that are generating a lot of cardboard and we're just like any other business. I mean, right. I'm just curious what our plan is with our own. We can't be preaching and not doing it ourselves. Mm. It's, worth a, it's worth a look into. I mean, it, 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 it would make as a public relations thing a lot of sense if we're consistent. We actually you know, we got all over. The, the nursing you just said, well, half of those first stores were trash all up. We have one out here. We have one. I don't know. Maybe we have one in there single. Yeah. They have a biohazard one. Yeah, that's not us. We don't. don't they have like something for food too? I think, huh? I think they have something for food as like grease or. Oh, they probably do have a, a grease dumpster. Yeah. What? Well, I guess we don't. We, we don't deal with that. You, you I guess we're on the bridge, doesn't it? We'll grab something in that, uh, at the noxious weeds. Maybe they'll call that, they probably have one. Mm. Maybe they do work a little Yeah. Yeah, they have a big old dumpster, but that's going to be that particular spot. If you're just going to be free riders, they probably pitch two or three bags. It's mostly everyone else's stuff. I'm going to assume. But as far as like some single source recycling stuff, too. and That would be great. Um, and especially if it costs us less. I mean, it would be nice to be able to have offered, because some businesses have talked about, and I don't know if I brought this up, but using, continuing using Martins as their trash service and use Deppenbaugh uh, car roller only or, or glass only, use the Deppenbaugh recycling component, but still use Martins for the trash. I, I don't know if we can swing that, if Deppenbaugh or Martins are on board for that, but they kind of mentioned it. But that was probably a. Yeah, Mr. Mark mentioned that that one of the recycle team would take the trash. It would have to be cost effective for them. But cardboard is it's valuable. It's the most valuable commodity, and if it's sourced separately, it, it might be worth their while just to offer recycling and leave the, the trash alone. So. But, like we've, like we've learned through this all the way thing, you can never over communicate. So, it's a matter of saying, yes, we're going to do this, and then communicate. So, it's, we, can, we can get that at another time. It's, it's an idea, because we don't want to run off Martins. So we don't want to be the cause of a business going out of business. So.
We have a lot of how many employees do we have right now? Uh, it's not. It's their deduction. Not, I mean, we just have to do this. I don't know how many. There's probably over. I have to check. Right. Bill's on it too. Yeah.
special meetings for budget hearings and for budget workshops and just for regular workshops. So. But this is just on but if you have some other things for your agenda. There was one sheet that we had that makes sense. This one came in with the bill. Um, yeah. I'm going to do the pledge of allegiance after the call for order, too. Yeah. Yeah. 
the launch for any way that's listed on these. So that's why my uh, calculated that with the 50 for the Sydney Village and the rest of the numbers here. I believe we're spending $770 a month right now on all those votes. Another question I had was like, I just want to make sure if that's what they currently use or that's what they every that's department wants to use. That's what. That's not what they currently. That's what I asked them.
I thought they did something like a 12 30 or one. They did. But they may not be in their gym anymore. I, it seems like they used to or occasionally do like a slight work session if they got one. I know their agenda was from 4 o'clock. Was it 1? Maybe it was 1. I thought it was like 1. But I, I thought for some reason Jefferson did a slight work session. But they may not anymore. I don't know. They start their slides at 1 o'clock. Um. The tech thing do the resolution on the hours? Yeah, it was. We need to get that. We know what they made. I guess we probably need the resolution. Well, we just, you know, the old resolution still should technically be in play. We still have our offices still staying open until 5. No. What's the, uh, what's the officer's? Down the treasurer's office. What have they been? I, I haven't gotten that. I, I mean, we say it's going to be I think it's a no. He's three. I'm coming in at eight. So there's no mental eight thirty mix. I think it's just down at four thirty. What's it? What is there? Any, we did all of our offices open eight thirty. Don't we have a courthouse? Except for the fourth thing open at eight. Yeah. But she's still closing down at four thirty. I think so. Yeah, he needs to get that resolution. It, it shouldn't affect that office, actually, because the old resolution would still be in place. The old resolution still says 5 o'clock. If I have to, if I have to say that that's true, we're going to have to say something to get the open. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's a good Thank you. 
one of the boards I, the other boards I sit on, we'll call it new business and old business. It's pretty common. So, I'm finished with the old business. Yeah. There is no new business on here. Yeah, and that just gives an opportunity at the end of the meeting if you discuss something the month before in the meeting, uh, you got a stray, you didn't address that, and you just unfinished business, you say, hey, what about blah, 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 blah. Oh, yeah, we will we'll talk about that. Mm -hmm. It's just kind of clean up. Okay. Reading approval, Commissioner, comments and committee reports? Yeah, well, all the set up different committees. That'd be like, uh, you go to, uh, Presentation. Juvenile. Presentation, application, memorials, and. Um, we don't necessarily have to do that like every meeting, but you can just put it on there. And if there is okay, I'll put it on, but I won't put it in there. You never in like one, two, two point one, three, three point one. Yeah, that would be bad. That's like outline. That's like outline. That's